Last time we were fitting the cowls and the rudder. I finally got around to deciding what colour the rudder should be, so I started by painting it in white marine gloss all over. With some red marine gloss at the top. Then I mixed some thickened epoxy resin and applied plenty of this inside the holes where the screw eyes were going to go back in. I applied thickened epoxy resin to the threads also and fitted the screw eyes back onto the rudder. At the same time I epoxied in the screw eyes on the keel and the transom of the boat. Since fitting the tabernacle, gallows and mast, I wasn't able to use my old boat cover, so the boat had been uncovered for a few weeks. In fact, I've been looking for an economic option for a boat cover, but there seemed to be none available in the size that I needed. I resorted to using a car cover, which you can buy quite cheaply. Uh, this one was £16, and then I'd adapt it to fit the boat. I started by temporarily taping the rear corners of the cover in place. I cut some velcro strips to fit the rear corners of the boat cover, so they fit around the poles of the gallows. Eventually I planned to buy a heavy duty cover for the boat, but since I'm still painting and varnishing the boat, then I didn't want to invest in one of these just yet. Hence the need for a cheap alternative. I cut the cover to fit around the tabernacle and then removed it to fit the velcro on this long cut. Then I cut the buckles and straps off the old boat cover so I could reuse them. I decided to use at least one strap over the mast to create a tent shape so that the boat cover would shed water more easily. and I attached all of the straps using a piece of scrap wood inside the cover and then tying around this. This forms a really strong and adjustable anchor point on the cover. In fact it's much stronger than using grommets which cut through the cover and create a potential weak point. And here's the fitted cover. Not bad for £16. For the rigging I decided to have a go at making this myself, so I ordered a crimping tool and some bits and bobs and set about crimping my first thimble onto the pad eye which would attach to the top of the mast. This is a little bit fiddly but very satisfying when I manage to do it. Here I'm using a match to apply heat to some heat shrink and make sure that the finished assembly is nice and snag free.